Hi everyone, this is Keith. Are you fascinated with cemeteries and you love looking at grave markers and wondering what kind of rock they are made from? Well, I'm gonna give you a free geology lesson today just to help you with your gravestone identification. The first example I wanna show you is a rock, which in my opinion, this gravestone is ready for a professional cleaning. Gravestone cleaning would really make this stone look better. Uh, gravestone cleaning done professionally uh, will do no damage, but will remove this biological growth and will make it easier to read, make it look better, and just make it look like it has been professionally cleaned. So this first example is granite, and you can see on the perimeter is polished granite, and on the inside is non-polished inset, and so that's granite. Now you might ask the question, well, how do I know it's granite? And I have a better example to show you how I know it's granite. So granite is an igneous rock. It's igneous intrusive, uh, plutonic, meaning that it was formed many, many years ago, deep below the surface of the earth. And as it formed, as it cooled, quartz crystals, grew within the rock. And in this pink granite example, we can very easily see uh, white quartz crystals. Now this is pink and all of the pink rock is potassium feldspar. And there are also black flecks throughout this rock. And those are probably amphibole, um, maybe biotite. I'd have to take a closer look just to see exactly what that is. But this is pink granite, and that is an igneous rock. Now, we have a great example of a marble stone. So marble is metamorphic, and its parent rock is limestone, but limestone is uh, undergoes metamorphosis and it becomes marble. Now you might ask the question, well how do I know the difference between marble and limestone? One of the ways we can figure that out is by looking at this grave marker right next to the marble one and limestone, if you look closely many times you will be able to find evidence of fossils. This is a wonderful example of fossiliferous limestone. Oh, it is just packed with fossils. These are mollusks, uh, ancient mollusks many, many years ago that were laid down in an ancient uh, body of water, either a vast sea or an ocean. Limestone is formed, well, there are various ways limestone can form, but one of the ways is through sea creatures such as these mollusks over many, many years were laid down. Now limestone is a sedimentary rock, uh, so it sediments down to the bottom of a big body of water, and in this case we have mollusks. So fun to see. I love seeing limestone where I can actually see the fossils. Okay, fossils are found in sedimentary rock, but they are not found in metamorphic rock because during the process of metamorphosis, the evidence of fossils, the evidence is eradicated. So you will not find fossils in metamorphic rock and you also will not find fossils in igneous rock such as this pink granite, but you will find evidence of quartz crystals. And this is pink granite, so this is potassium feldspar, and the black flecks are uh, probably amphibole, uh, maybe biotite. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that free, uh, free gravestone cemetery geology lesson to help you with your identification of gravestones. My name is Keith. I'll be happy to answer any questions you might have. Uh, just contact me through the contact form or leave a message in the description below.